birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sarah. Happy birthday to you. Thanks, guys. See, now we can get you your license. I told you to be here before you knew it. Yeah, she even passes the test. She'll pass because we've been practicing. Knock it off. Um, I got you uh, something for your birthday. Oh my gosh, Lady Gaga, thank you. I've been wanting this so bad. Yeah, I know, you talk about her all the time. Do you even know Lady Gaga, Dad? Uh, yeah, unfortunately I do. Dad, come on, she's actually really talented. We'll talk about it later. Birthday girl gets the first slice. Can I have a corner? Yep. All right, let's go ahead and get this finished up so Sarah can get back to her homework before it's too late. Yeah, sure. It's great. Happy birthday, baby. I love you. I love you too, Dad. And I'm proud of you. You know that, right? I do. Thank you. And if you give your life to him, he'll change everything for you. Do you have any idea how many people would be willing to die for you? Well, I can tell you it ain't a whole heck of a lot. So I'm going to close today with my favorite Bible verse. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Amen? Amen. Now, before y'all go, just as a reminder, we've got five college students coming in from the University of Louisville to mentor and stay with y'all. And I want everyone to be on their best behavior because they traveled a long way to be here. And they're preaching the word of our Lord and Savior. Now we're going to have my beautiful daughter, Sarah, come up here and play a few verses of How Great Is Our God. They're here. You put it right here. We're doing the music together. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, I've got my guitar inside. Awesome, very cool. I'm Jane, by the way. Yeah. Sarah? Hey, Sarah, nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you, too. Yeah, cool. Well, all right, let me introduce the rest of the kids. Okay, yeah. And you guys. These are the guys. They seem cool. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna go to an F sharp minor here. I'm not sure where that is actually. It's a bar chord. I can't really do bar chords yet. They're pretty hard for me. I totally get that. Um, let me just show you how to do it then. Okay, so yeah, you take your pinky, put it right, yes, right oh. there. And then this finger right there. Awesome, and then you're gonna take this and you're just gonna press on that and strum. See, that's not so bad, huh? Yeah, I guess. Let's take a break real fast. I'm gonna get my coffee. So, your dad said that you're gonna go to music school after you graduate? Oh, uh, yeah. That's so cool. Do you know where? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, Maybe Juilliard. Nice. Maybe. <laughs>
That's awesome. My ex went to Juilliard. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, yeah. That's so cool, wow. Yeah, I guess. She, I met her my freshman year and we actually just broke up recently. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. No, 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 she was crazy. Oh, oh yeah? Yeah, like certifiably insane, like completely psycho. No, I, I totally get it. Uh, so your ex is a she? You can let go of that cord now. Yeah, I'm sorry. Wow. So you, like, you couldn't tell I was gay? No, uh, I don't think I've ever met a gay person in my life before. What, really? So you've, like, you've never, like, had a crush on a girl before? No, what? No. Wow, so you're, like, super Christian. No, no. Um, I mean, I just have to be here because of my dad, really. And, I mean, it's not like I believe everything that they teach. Out of all my friends, I'm probably, like, the least churchy one. What do you mean? I mean, I just, I think it's kind of crazy how everything they follow is taken out of a book that's literally thousands of years old. Yeah, I totally get that. It's like... I wonder if they've ever tried to form their own thoughts. I don't know. I don't really know. Yeah. I feel like I've had to kind of form my own connection with God outside of the church, just like away from the rules and the judgments and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I don't really know if all of this is actually for me. Well, maybe we can figure it out together. You can talk to me about anything. Okay, yeah. You know, I guess I was like 16 when I had my first girlfriend, now that I think about it. Because you're 16, right? Yeah, uh, my birthday was yesterday. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Happy birthday. Thanks. Yeah. So wait, like, how does it feel? Can you, like, drive now and stuff? I'm taking my test next week, actually. No, we were sitting there for like seriously like 10 or 15 minutes and this guy was just trying to pull up like a tab the entire time. He did not know how to use this computer. Hey, Jane, what was the name of that econ professor that we had last semester? Totally sucked. Oh, uh, Professor Simmons. I mean, Tell a story that you were telling me like, like yesterday. Oh, 
yes. Oh, no, no, tell us. You know it. Well, again, I love. I could never. The way I like no community. So who wants to play Truth or Dare? Jess, are you serious? No one wants to play Truth or Dare. No, it's okay, Sarah. Truth or Dare is fun. Come on. All right, Jesse. Truth or Dare. I dare you to take that marshmallow, roast it, rub it in dirt, and then eat it. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> uh. Okay. Oh, nice. Wow. <laughs> nice. Okay. Sarah, truth or dare? Dare. I dare you to kiss Nathan with tongue for five seconds. Jesse, come on, I'm not gonna do that in front of everyone. Okay, okay, fine. You get a pass. It's your turn. Um, okay. Jane, truth or dare? Mm, truth. Mm. What's the tattoo on your arm mean? Uh, um. So I was on acid and I drew this design and my friend and I got matching tattoos and we like camped out for three days and I don't know, it was really wild. It's a story in and of itself. No, I mean, I think that sounds really cool. Uh, I just I mean like, I'd love to hear more about your stories and stuff. Sarah, do you know how you're getting home yet tonight? Uh, I guess I should probably ask Nathan about that. Oh, um, Nathan is, uh, spending the night here with Nick, you know, since he has to be here tomorrow. Yeah, uh, I guess I'll call my dad then? I'm not sure. So oh, I could take you home. Y'all could also, you know, spend the night here. I have another spare bedroom. I mean, it's, y'all could have the room across from, uh, where Nick and Nathan are staying. Unless you'd rather spend the night with Nathan. Jesse, come on, stop. I... No, but, uh, I'll, yeah, I'll spend the night, that's fine. That sounds good to me. Yeah, we can share a room. It's yeah. good. Dude, do you think Jesse had too much coffee earlier? <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, I think she was just having fun, you know? Uh, yeah, you're, you're probably right. Um, are you done changing yet? Yes, and it is your turn. Um, so, uh, what's college like? Mm. Awesome. <laughs> I don't know. It's, uh, it's really liberating and, you know, there's no one to tell you what to do and all that stuff. But, uh, I guess it is, like, kind of hard waking up in the morning and getting to class on time and stuff without your parents nagging you all the time. <laughs> but, yeah, I can imagine. Um, so, uh, where do your parents live? Um, uh, my whole family kind of lives in, like, the upstate New York area. Oh. I really only see them during the holidays now. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. It's totally okay. Uh. <laughs> um. Oh. Hey, uh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get some water. Okay. Hi. So you were able to sneak away? Yeah, of course. I haven't been together alone in so long. I've missed you. I missed you too. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> I, I, I think we said we might not try to do anything that would cross the line. I mean, yeah, but uh, I'm, I thought... It's fine. I, it's okay, I'm crazy about you. I just, um, you know, we both talked so we would wait, so. It, yeah, you're right, you're right. I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh, you know, uh, I'm actually pretty tired. I might just go to bed. Yeah, me too. I should probably turn in. I just I just wanted to say a proper good night, and I love you, so. Good night, and I love you, sir. Hey. Hey! Sorry, Nathan was out there. No, 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 it's 
that's totally, totally fine. No big deal. I really wish you didn't have to leave tomorrow. Um, I mean, I just mean like, I was really looking forward to, you know, getting to know you better and like seeing more of your art and stuff. And um, I just feel like we had only started becoming friends. Yeah, I'm really happy that I met you too, Sarah. I, I don't know, I feel like strangely close to you, to be honest, and in such like a short time to Do you really like my tattoo? <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, sorry, I just, I think like the planets look really cool. I'm sorry. That's no. Uh, no, 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 it's totally okay. <laughs> um, would you, do you think you'd ever get tattoos? I mean, maybe when I'm 30 or something. <laughs> I mean, my dad would like kill me. <laughs> Definitely not anytime soon. <laughs> I mean, um, I don't know. I think you'd look really awesome with a tattoo on your collarbone. Like right here. so much. Well, I guess you have to go. Yeah. I'm really gonna miss you. Yeah, I'm gonna miss you too. A lot. You know, you have my number, and if you ever come up north, you can call me. And, uh, who knows? Maybe, um, maybe I'll just like see you in New York after you graduate and move up there. Really? Yeah. New York's awesome and there's tons to do there and you'll be there and I think I'd like that a lot. Come on, Jane. Time to leave the church kids alone. Okay, Dawn. Well, Please be safe. I will. <laughs>